The first thing we do when tying the three turn water knot is pull off your length of leader material and obviously to start with it sort of coils up because there's memory. So we give it a good stretch and it will lie flat okay and that's the first thing. If you don't do that your leader will get tangled. So two pieces of line just lie them side by side. Create a loop and you go through once, twice, three times and you will end up with a knot. Now obviously if I was to pull it there's going to be friction so we need to lubricate it and just ease the knot in so it all seats down. Use the tip of your, your fingernail and then if we cut it off you're left with a dropper and obviously the dropper part is the part that goes down the line if you were to go that way you're pulling against the knot and I don't care how good the line it would snap okay and that's why you get break-offs when you get two fish on because it's going against the knot you always tie the fly going down the leader. That's the knot that I've used for 40 years and on the match scene, as I say, it's the knot that I would say 90% of people use for droppers. It's tried and tested. I don't think there is a better dropper knot out there.